Hey, hey, how you doing? This is Coach Carville Bailey. Welcome to yet another episode of Coach Carville Bailey's Lunch and Learn. Today we're going to discuss some benefits, right? The benefits of being able to play the game the right way, right? What are some benefits of your athlete really learning to play the game the right way? All right, so share this. We'll be back in about two minutes. Yo, just so you understand it, this is Coach Carvel Bailey's program with the spirit of Bob Hambry. This is Bless the Ball, helping athletes, and we represent. Study your craft, your mentality leads to excellence. It's all about your mindset. We'll never stop addressing this, so be positive and not a pessimist. Confidence took James Harden higher. If you really want it, it ain't gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard as carbon fiber, but we got you. From counseling to workshops, we do it. You'll go farther with a scholarship. We'll help you get recruited. Yo, anyone can dribble and shoot, but it's the ones who study basketball internally that make it to Duke University. Knowledge goes around. The game is played from the neck up and not from the shoulders down. This is Bless the Ball, helping you with obstacles. The athletes are the rocket. Bless the Ball is the rocket fuel. If you hit a wall, we can help you slowly climb it. So keep a mamba mentality like Kobe Bryant. Bless the Ball. Cherish the opportunities that you have. Bless the Ball. Use your mentality to master the crowd. Bless the Ball. Come join our team. It's a new day. Follow our steps and watch how much better you play. Bless the Cherish the opportunities that you have. Bless the ball. Use your mentality to master the craft. Bless the ball. Come join our team. It's a new day. Follow our steps and watch how much better you play. Yo, Coach Carvel Bailey. Hey, listen to your coach, man. He ain't no scrub off the street. That man got credentials, academic and street. Believe it. And my name is Strategic. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. How y'all doing? It's Coach Carvel Bailey. Welcome to another episode of Coach Carvel Bailey's Lunch and Learn. Uh, share with me your city and state, right? Where you checking in from? I see I got um, a national champion, a national champion um, in the building, Coach Fabian Chapman. And I also uh, I want to give it up. Give it up to my guy. Give it up to my guy, um, Eric Doherty, right from Chicago. He and the shy. Um, right, does great, does like credit repair, all those things, right? He always tap in with me. He always tap in with me every day. So he definitely appreciates you. But let's talk about, man, let's talk about some of the benefits, right? Let's talk about some of the benefits of um, learning how to play the game the right way. All right, Rodney, what up, man? Uh, Rodney, I'm going to text you once I get done with this um because i didn't text you so that i can get that information from you all right i appreciate you my brother so what are some of the benefits what are some of the benefits of being able to play this game the right way now i printed out some some stuff today all right so um i'm going to share with you all right just like i'm gonna i'm gonna share this post um that i sent out today right email that i sent out to everybody on my email list if you're not part of my email list and definitely go check out our free case study video at be the right recruit.com. That'll get you on our email list as well to get all these hot jewels that we send out every day. Um, so some of the benefits of learning to play the game the right way. Um, what I'm going to break down today is communication, right? Effective communication, as well as leadership skills. Those are two benefits that any athlete can gain from learning how to play the game the right way. They can improve in their communication and learn how to effectively communicate, but also they can improve in their leadership skills. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to the leadership skills, but we're gonna talk about the, the, the effective communication, all right? Effective communication goes hand in hand with leadership skills because great leaders can effectively communicate regardless to what the personalities are on the team in their environment, they know how to communicate with each individual person to get an, a, a, a positive result from that. Does that make sense? Right. Anybody can just talk. And I'm not talking about the good players on the team. I'm talking about leaders. And most coaches put their best players, their captain 
but the best player may not be the best leader. Does that make sense? Right. So leadership skills is one of the biggest things that an athlete get, one of the biggest benefits they get from playing this game. And with leadership skills on the court, it helps with leadership skills off the court. And what I tell athletes, if you have trouble being a leader, just know that you're always a leader of one, yourself. So if an athlete is always getting distracted, always finding other things to do, they probably don't have good leadership skills because they aren't able to lock in and focus on what needs to be done. So the first benefit is leadership skills. The second benefit is teamwork. Now, I'm not going to go into reading everything that I put in my email. I'm just give you all the, the key components, right? Because if you're fortunate enough to be on my email list, I broke down all of those things. But teamwork, People that can effectively communicate can work together. I was speaking to a panel of individuals yesterday, right? A panel of, of administrators. And they asked me, they said, how do you deem success from an athletic department? How do you deem if an athletic department is successful, right? So I was, I was working with um, some administrators having a conversation. They said, well, how do you tell for athletic department is successful. And it was real simple to me. If the individual parts are working together for the for the whole, for the common good of the whole. I'm a history teacher and George Washington said in his farewell address when he left because they wanted George Washington to run for three terms. Right. But he left and he said, I'm going to pass it on to the people that come after me. But he talked about unity. And he said there can't be unity if all parts aren't working together. And so Mike Krzyzewski said similar the same thing. He said that Duke has five core principles. And when the going gets tough for Duke, and pay attention next year, go watch some clips. When they're in a tight game and the going gets tough, the coach holds up a fist. Well, what does the fist mean? That means that all of the parts are working together. And so when they hold up a fist, they understand we need to lock back in and teamwork. So one of the benefits of learning how to play this game the right way is learning how to effectively communicate and effective communication then leads to having effective teams and teamwork, being able to work together. If your athlete can't work with other people, how are they going to make it in life? How are they going to have coworkers? They can't get along with their teammates. How are they going to get along with their coworkers? How are they going to get along with their spouse, kids, all of those things? And then the next thing effective communication does, again, we're, we're talking the benefits of basketball. But the benefit that I'm talking about is effective communication, and I'm breaking them down. But another benefit of effective communication is decision making. Basketball is all about decision making. When do I take a shot? When do I pass it? When do I drive? When do I pull up? It's all about decisions. As I got my mama checking in. Hey, mama. Right. Always good when your mama check in. What decisions is your athlete making on the court? And a lot of athletes confidence issues come from their indecisiveness. So if your athlete can effectively communicate they're able to make a more sound decision because they have all the information that they need. Does that make sense? If you don't have all the information you need, you have to be able to ask questions. And those asking questions, then you need to dive a little bit deeper. You have to investigate. So you have to be able to communicate to investigate. Does that make sense? I'm going to say that again. You have to be able to effectively communicate in order to investigate, because you have to be able to ask the right questions. And if you haven't investigated and effectively communicated, you're not gonna make a sound decision. Think about how far and better well off your athlete would be if they learned to improve their decision making. If they became better decision makers, think of how, right, and less indecisive, Think of how far along they could be in their basketball careers and just in life.
The next thing, conflict resolution. Basketball is decision making, but also conflict resolution. Here comes the trap. How do I resolve that conflict? We're down a few points. How do I resolve that conflict? I, I got I'm in foul trouble. How do I resolve that conflict? The coach is not playing me. I'm having issues with my team. How does how do you resolve the conflict? Well, that comes back down to effective communication. Right. I can do a whole keynote on just effective communication. Because we're breaking down what comes with being able to effectively communicate. Leadership skills improve. Teamwork enhances, improve. Decision making skills improve. Conflict resolution skills improve. All by just being able to effectively communicate. Your athletes run around stressful. They don't need to be stressful. They need to ask the right questions. In order to ask the right questions, they have to investigate. In order to investigate, they have to effectively communicate. And then here's, here's one of the bigger things that effective communication does. Effective communication then leads to a little bit of motivation. Right? Because if you're getting the answers that you're looking for, if you're getting the answers that you're looking for, as well as getting the answers that you need to hear. Now, what you need to hear may be different than what you're looking for. But if you can get the answers you're looking for and if you can get the answers that you need to hear. Right. Your athlete getting what they need to hear and getting what they're looking for. Think of how motivating that can be. An athlete can leave a conversation with their coach. And they can be for the rest of the year. But if they don't know how to effectively communicate and investigate and ask questions and all that, that same conversation can take them down. So effective communication helps build and increase that motivation. And this effective communication is not just right. When your athlete learns how to play basketball the right way, they will improve on their communication. They will be able to effectively communicate. Effectively communicating, they will then be able to improve their leadership skills, their decision making, their teamwork, their conflict resolution, and their motivation. But if they aren't able to effectively communicate, they aren't building these skills that's needed for life. Does that make sense? This is well beyond just dribbling the ball. These are what are they going to take and transfer to their life? Does that make sense? And now, since we're talking about motivation, it's two different types of motivation. I got a couple minutes when my kids come up. You got extrinsic and intrinsic. Extrinsic is external. Intrinsic is internal. So what type of motivation does your athlete need? Right. We talked about effective communication, that motivation. I can shout at players. I can give them a speech to pump them up. They'll be motivated until I'm gone. But that's extrinsic. We want our athletes to be able to have intrinsic motivation. Because if they have intrinsic motivation, they're going to find something within themselves to motivate them. Extrinsic, I can go all around the country and talk to teams, talk to coaches, and I can get them pumped up. What's going to happen next week if they don't have that same thing ringing in their ear? This is one reason why a lot of coaches need to have um, a consultant on staff to be able to help increase the intrinsic motivation of the staff and the uh, the coaching staff and the players. But here's some things that intrinsic motivation does. All right. So intrinsic motivation helps athletes be self-driven. When you have intrinsic motivation, you can drive yourself to do the things that a hype man can do. You ain't gonna always I tell athletes, you ain't gonna always had a hype man. You ain't gonna always had that coach that's a player's coach. Sometimes if you want to hit your goal, you have to be intrinsically motivated to go get it. So intrinsic motivation will help athletes be self-driven. It'll also help athletes have a better attitude, right? Because now it's not about turning it on or off. You know the patterns, or your athletes should recognize the patterns, the habits, and the things and people who change their attitude and change their energy. And so when you're intrinsically motivated, you can have a positive attitude because you know what needs to be done 
to get yourself going. Great players. Michael Jordan, right? Sometimes he needed that extrinsic motivation. Kobe Bryant, sometimes he needed that extrinsic motivation, right? What Dylan Brooks did the other day to out poke bears, he gave LeBron James extrinsic motivation. Does that make sense? He gave him extrinsic motivation. But when Kobe Bryant, like, lost in the finals to the Celtics, he said that whole summer, right, it was extrinsic, but then it went to intrinsic because losing drove him. But he said once the season started, it was already in him. Now, he had a point to prove. So positive attitude, self-driven. Also, those people that are, that intrinsic motivation, they lead by example. How many coaches, right, would like players to lead by example? Parents, coaches want players to lead by example. My my good good buddy, uh, Coach Lou Adams, he always talked about good, better, best. Good, better, best, right? Good, better, best, right? Good shot, better shot, best shot, right? And he has a whole saying about let your good be better and your better be best, right? Something better than the rest. It's an amazing um, quote that he has. But when we talk about leading by example, hey, close my door. This is real life, y'all. This, this, this is real life. We talk about leading by example, right? Leading by example, when your athletes are motivated intrinsically, inner motivation, they can then lead by example. That goes right back to leadership, doesn't it? And then the final thing is y'all hear them and they and they on their way, resilience. How many times can you face resistance and bounce back? That's resilience. How many times can you hit a, 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 a wall and bounce back? How many times can you hear no and bounce back? That's resilience. How resilient is your athlete? Or do they just quit at the first sign of adversity? Do they just quit? All right. So these are the benefits. These are the benefits of learning how to play the game the right way. All right. These are the benefits of learning how to play the game the right way. This is why your athlete needs to get with a coach that can help teach them how to play the game the right way, because these same things are transferable for them in life each and every day. It's not just about basketball. It's about developing better people. And this is what we do at Hoops Master University. This is what we do at Bless the Ball Consulting Group. We help create better people by starting with those two things, teaching them how to effectively communicate and teaching them how to improve whatever leadership skills they have because everybody has some sort of leadership skills because they're a leader of one themselves. Does that make sense, y'all? All right, so we got my man, Brian Buchanan, senior. Deuce, yep, go ahead. Afternoon, Coach K, four C's, confidence, competency, uh, capability, and compatibility. Show me a good listener and student in the classroom. We'll have an IQ on the court. That's what my daddy used to always say. Show me a good student, I'll show you a good athlete. KYP, teach them the ability to self-motivate by results. You got to know your personnel, right? You got to know your – so if you don't know your personnel, you're not making good decisions. If you don't know your personnel, it can lead to, to conflict problems, right? So all of this is true. All of this is true, and it starts with learning how to understand the game, being taught the game the right way, and playing the game the right way, all right? And listen, if you haven't checked out my case study, you should go check it out. I talked about it, right? If you think it's a good fit, we'll invite you and your athlete to uh, enroll into our program, right? Now, it's not cheap. It's not cheap to work with us, but we get the results that last a lifetime for our athletes. Just go online, YouTube, wherever, and check out all our testimonies, all right? But I got my kids in front of me. I got to go. I'll holler at y'all on Friday. Share this. Let me know what you think about it. Put your comments um, in the, the chat. Let me know what you think about it, right? What can your athlete stand to which benefit does your athlete need to improve on the most to make them the best individual that they can be? All right? Coach Bailey, I'm out.
Peace. Let me put my theme music on. Yo, just so you understand it, this is Coach Carvel Bailey's program with the spirit of Bob Hamrick. This is Bless the Ball, helping athletes, and we represent. Study your craft, your mentality leads to excellence. It's all about your mindset. We'll never stop addressing this, so be positive and not a pessimist. Confidence took James Harden higher. If you really want it, it ain't gonna be easy. It's gonna be hard as carbon fiber, but we got you. From counseling to workshops, we do it. You'll go farther with a scholarship. We'll help you get recruited. Yo, anyone can dribble and shoot, but it's the ones who study basketball internally that make it to Duke University. Knowledge goes around. The game is played from the neck up and not from the shoulders down. This is Bless the Ball, helping you with obstacles. The athletes are the rocket. Bless the Ball is the rocket fuel. If you hit a wall, we can help you slowly climb it. So keep a mamba mentality like Kobe Bryant. Bless the Ball. Cherish the opportunities that you have. Bless the Ball. Use your mentality to master the crowd. Bless the Ball. Come join our team. It's a new day. Follow our steps and watch how much better you play. Bless the Cherish the opportunities that you have. Bless the ball. Use your mentality to master the craft. Bless the ball. Come join our team. It's a new day. Follow our steps and watch how much better you play. Yo, Coach Carvel Bailey. Hey, listen to your coach, man. He ain't no scrub off the street. That man got credentials, academic and street. Believe it. And my name is Strategic.